is Fit Foodie Friday, and who better than our lovely Lisa to tell me ways that I can eat better. Okay, here's the thing. Can we just talk about cauliflower for a minute? Because it's no lie, the entire studio it smells like flatulence. Stinks so bad. It's like when you cook a cauliflower or broccoli at home, you know what I'm talking about. So um, I promise you, though, that that uh, the end result of this recipe is so delicious. And this is, hey, come on. We're making pizza. We're making pizza. So there's no more um, oh, pizza. Fatty, fatty pizza. This is going to be healthy okay. pizza. The thing about cauliflower that we forget is just because it's white doesn't mean that it's lacking nutrients. It's loaded with essential B vitamins, um, omega fatty acids, phytonutrients that are antioxidants, all sorts of really good things. Plus it has a ton of fiber. So it's a really great thing to cook with. It's actually my favorite um, staple in the kitchen that I use to substitute some of my You recipes. made a cauliflower little dip thing when I was at your house. I did make a cauliflower dip and then we did the cauliflower mashed potatoes on the show. Yes, you um, just before. love you some cauliflower. I do. It's, a, it's the most versatile vegetable. It really is because you can use it in lots of recipes. Okay, okay so, so what are we going to do? First thing we want to do is you want to take a head of cauliflower and you're going to puree it. Well, not puree it. You're going to this oh, make on. sure that there's something plugged in, which it's not. Anyway, <sighs> this kitchen. <laughs> You're going to um, put it in your food processor, and it's fine. Let's just let's just go on. Put it in your food you processor. You got the idea. Yeah. Um, and then you want to take the end result. You want to put it in the microwave for which, about eight minutes. That's what you're left yeah. with. Which is this? Can you see it? And so it has like this mealy texture. It's almost like rice. Which, by the way, you can make rice with it too, which is fantastic. Okay. Anyway, you want to put it in the microwave for about eight minutes, and that's going to take a lot of the moisture out of it. And you definitely don't miss that step because it's really important. So you're going to take your cauliflower. Okay. Okay. Put it in your bowl. Okay. You're going to add one egg. One egg that it, slightly beaten. What that? Slightly, slightly beaten. beaten egg. What did you think I said? <laughs> Slightly beaten egg. This is a cup of um, mozzarella. I like to use light mozzarella cheese because it just cuts your calories even more. But, you know, if you're against that, then go ahead and use regular. And then two tablespoons of Parmesan. Okay. Fresh Parmesan. Got it. What's next? Okay, and then salt and pepper to taste. Salt and peps. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a lot. And then what I like to do is add like like garlic salt or something to it to get oh, a little yeah. Because everything's better with garlic. Everything is better with garlic, except... So you, kissing somebody. Only if they've had garlic too. So you're mixing this up. Okay. And see what happens? It gets like this almost like dough-like consistency. Okay. See and what then... I mean about it being a miracle food? Oh my gosh. Yeah. So you take this and then you're going to pat it out on your surface and make like a circle out of it. Yeah. Ready? I, I, do I have to touch it? I'll do it. <laughs> not really into like uncooked egg on my hands. This okay, morning. so you'll do this on your baking sheet that you've already sprayed with non non cook non stick cooking. And you spray. make this into like the shape of a yeah. pizza. Yeah. So, so are we making like, like individual this. ones? You know, I would say these are definitely individual size especially in my house cuz that's like a perfect little the snack. Kids will eat, you know, 3 17 of these. of these, yeah. Anyway, you make it into a nice little circle. You're going to spray the top with your nonstick spray again, and you're going to put it in the oven at 425 for about 10 to 15 minutes. It, but you can kind of just eye it. And yeah, see. it's perfect at about 12 minutes in my microwave. But and then this is, is what we're left with. This is how it comes out. And there's and your dough. It really is. Ta da! So good. <laughs> That's good. It really is, though, so no close. No one laughed. That was funny, y'all. It's so close in consistency. Like, get it? Look at the consistency. <laughs> it's, it's really like it's dough. It's amazing. Can I taste it? If you want to, it's been in the refrigerator all night. Okay. If I had one thing on my wish list, it would be to get an oven that's good. here in the kitchen so that we could do things fresh. But anyway, I made this one last night, and I like to put, th that's the great thing about it, is this is just your crust, your base, so top it with whatever you want. What did I you put, top it with? I topped it with some pizza sauce and fresh mozzarella and basil. The kids love it with barbecue sauce, chicken, and mozzarella. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. You Come can get crazy mommy. with it. And it's kind of a fun thing to do with the kids. You know, everybody can make their own. I love this. Yeah. Tasty. It's fun, huh? I'm going to have some pizza, and you can actually find this recipe on our website. Thank you for sharing. Sure. Another Fit Foodie Challenge. That's dthebroadcast.tv.